What's goody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Finally, 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 I'm bringing a long awaited QA video, man. The first ever QA video. I got some very interesting questions on Twitter. I appreciate everybody sending in questions. I'll do another one, most definitely, if you guys want me to. Um, comment down below afterwards and let me know if you did enjoy the Q&A videos. If you have any other questions, I'll let you guys know when to tweet it at me on Twitter. So without further ado, let's get started with my Q&A. First ever Q and A, very good questions here. First question comes from PR underscore princess one, two, three. Question is what or who inspired you to start filmmaking? Currently I'm on a little pause, but my mindset on how I make videos, how I make my YouTube videos, how I format and sequence and do everything is always like top tier production. You know what I'm saying? Like formatted the way I do stuff. So I never just make a video and then drop you know boom unedited content i always gotta edit everything for some reason all right when i was young i wanted to be an actor i do like acting still um when i was when i was a kid i wanted to be an actor uh, i was always watching you know nickelodeon shows disney channel shows and i and i just want to be a part of the shows you know influence from family and things like that and competition and stuff like that my mind moves so creative so even though i'd be acting or or acting out a skit or making something i always wanted to like direct and not really direct but but steer the direction of the content you know so control every aspect of it i want it to whatever i'm thinking i want it to come out exactly how i thought of it not just be the person on camera i want to be you know um steering everything so basically uh got into a filmmaking mindset um that's what i wanted to go to college for um but i've always been back and forth with stuff you know with adhd and whatnot but definitely in my mid 30s i want to be in the film industry creating short films via youtube or or hot, actual you know box office releases wherever i'm at in life but that that is definitely the goal the second question comes from she know at she know she know cage underscore how does it feel to know you're the son of a goaded warzone player third question comes from bibby my boy my boy bibby what are you looking forward to in 2022 where do i begin what am i not looking forward to um uh, bibby you already know man we we got some crazy stuff on the way with otf gaming with the community with the team dirk's going crazy the label i'm just looking forward to seeing where we end up by the end of the year with all the things we have behind the scenes working on you know all the things coming up i'm just looking forward to seeing you know the growth from 2021 to 2022 pretty much that um and see where we're gonna be heading into 2023 so you know i'm definitely living in the moment but i th that's what i'm looking forward to next question comes from otf kami what are you doing with your first million that's a banger question my boy uh with my first million i'm gonna take um a certain percentage of it and invest either closely invest myself or have someone um to manage investments and things like that for me someone i could really trust and uh, flip that percentage of that million into some more even more money make sure i pay off my mom's house most definitely um and with the rest uh definitely gotta like pocket some and save save um but i'll see where i'm at in life i obviously like once i hit touch my first million i don't really know where i'm gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna already be in the house i want i don't already i don't know if i'm already have my you know my dream car so those those are the main things i know for certain i will do pay my mom's house off put in some investments and save some and uh we'll see where the rest is man we're gonna have to figure that out next question from insomniac tv2 my boy insomniac i appreciate you sending the question what made you grow start growing your dreads um at one point i decided to stop cutting my hair i didn't want to cut my hair anymore i wanted to grow it out well honestly I decided uh, there was a certain look I wanted. Y'all y'all know that the temp fade, the thought boy haircut from Atlanta, man. I had that, you know, AKA the rich homie Kwan. I had that, I wanted to get that style. And then, uh, you know, I would keep it at a certain length. And then at a certain point, I wanted it longer. Then, then I just stopped cutting it one day and then it just kept getting longer. And then I wanted to see, 
I just wanted to see it. I wanted to grow it out, keep it going. Um, then it got like real big. You know, I got a little fro on top with a little side. I started just getting my sides cut. Um, started looking like Crown. Crown so heavy. <laughs> Shout out my boy Crown. But that's how that's how I used to rock my hair. Eventually, I just got tired of that. Like tired of washing it. Like keep managing like the fro. And I wanted to try something new, man. I wanted to switch it up. I never planned on getting dreads, and I always said that I wouldn't. So eventually, I just got the the dreads twisted. You know, I wanted to tie it up, get it out my, you know, get it out the way, show off my fade and whatnot. You know, so that's what made me start growing my dreads. You know, new chapter. Insomniac also asked how long I've been growing my dreads. Uh, I've been growing my hair since 2016, I believe. 2016 was the last time I cut my hair, January. January 2016 was my last haircut. So I've been growing my hair for about six years. Um, uh, my dreads was August 2018. August 2018, I believe. So I've been growing my hair 19, 20, 22, almost, almost four years. So... Uh, yeah, three years, eight months. Insomniac also asked, how long have I been gaming? Boy, my whole life, really. I've been gaming my whole life. How long have I been seriously gaming? How about, how long has I, have I been taking it serious and, and trying to get into the industry? It's been since about 2013, um, Black Ops 1. Well, not Black Ops 1. It was during the Modern Warfare 3 year, but I was playing Black Ops 1 a lot. And then Black Ops 2 came out and I saw an event for my first time, like some competitive, basically Gamescom for Black Ops 2. And I saw Optic, I saw every, all these people on stage. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? So I figured out there was competition. I got into it and I've been in it since, since then, since then, man. Insomniac also asked, do I have any hobbies other than gaming? Uh, Yeah, I like Airsoft, uh, which is, it feels like I'm playing Call of Duty in real life. Airsoft guns, you go to the arena, y'all shoot each other up in game, right? Y'all just tag each other up. You feel that little pain, adrenaline. It's addicting to me. It's fun. I feel like I'm literally playing Call of Duty in real life. I like going to the range and shooting actual guns. That's another hobby that I like. I'm a gun fanatic. I don't know why. I've always been infatuated with guns when I was little. And then I started playing Call of Duty. Started buying BB guns and stuff when I was a kid. But yeah, that's another hobby. I also like cars, man. I like cars. I like driving fast. I'm a Beamer geek. No, no funny shit. I only have one. I've only had one Beamer in my life. I, I like working on things on the car myself. I like doing my own maintenance. I like doing my own cosmetics. I like, you know, meeting up with people, going to meets and stuff like that, looking at other cars and stuff like that. I will do content like that um, real soon. I like hooping. I like playing basketball, you know. Make a joke. Make a joke if you want. Make a joke if you want. But that's really uh, it for now. I used to skate as well, but uh, my hip started messing up with skating. I fell on my hip too much. Visionary504, my boy, asked me, what do you have planned for your BMW? Honestly, at this point, just fix on the little maintenance things uh, that it needs. Get it up to par and sell that thing, man. I don't really want that one no more, man. I'm going to be real with you. I'm working on trying to get this M235i. So if y'all want to support and donate all my donation links or on my channel, on my Twitch, on my profile, all that stuff like that. Drop down below if you want to. I appreciate the support, but I do want that M235. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this, uh, this three series, bruh. I'm really tired of it. It's so boring. I'm gonna be real with you. My boy OB asked, what are some goals you have set for 2022? My main goal, my main goal is to get my dream car this year. It's BMW i8. All right. Um, if not the M235, I that's a goal. All right, it's a material goal. Obviously, I make content, and I also would like to get into car content as well. Another goal is at least 10, 20k on all socials. So I keep going hard this year. It's April. I could definitely meet that on Twitter for sure. Instagram, like halfway there. If I could hit that on all socials, then, you know that's just a minimum goal. Obviously, we could uh, aim for higher. That's the realistic one I'm setting. The real numbers I'm looking for, I ain't even gonna talk about that. You know what I'm saying? If if it hits, it hits. You know, and become a better me. Become uh, work on my health. You know become more healthy again, become happier, work on my mental health, physical, become a better person, help people, inspire people, put people on, change my circle, keep all the good energy around me. That's pretty much it, man. Those are my goals for 2022. Real Kagami asked me, what inspired you to do gaming? I'll be real, man. I'm a Leo, right? I'm a Leo. 
And uh, like I said, I always liked video games when I was a kid. I finally got Black Ops 1, was my first Call of Duty game that I had, that I owned. My first one I ever played was MW2, but Black Ops 1, I got for Christmas and I would play it every day with the homies from school. Weren't really the homies, but I played it with my, you know, my classmates from school and I sucked. I was so bad at Black Ops. I was so bad, I would go to school and get, just get laughed at. Like I would get roasted every day for being bad at Call of Duty, right? I would get roasted every day IRL for being bad at Call of Duty. I'm a Leo, so if uh, I get roasted for something I'm not good at, best believe I'm gonna be the best at it. And that's pretty much what happened, right? I got so good at COD. Uh, I never stopped, like, even to this day. Even to this day, I wake up and I'm like, nah, there's people better than me at Warzone. And I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, that will never go away. So doing that got me into competitive. I found out about competitive, found out about Optic, you know, their team houses and all that stuff. You know, pretty much the story that a lot of us have. Um, and that's what got me just locked into it. And I never went back ever since. What games did you start out playing when you found your interest in gaming? Like I said in the last que in the last answer, Black Ops 1, Call of Duty. It's always been Call of Duty. Uh, I did get into 2K. I play 2K like every two, three years. Uh, I buy 2K. Then I'll skip like three years and I'll buy 2K again. But it's really just been Call of Duty. Real Kagami also adds favorite fast food and favorite places to eat at late night. Favorite fast food, Chick-fil-A. All day, every day, man. That shit is just top tier. I don't, it doesn't matter what mood I'm in. I'm always gonna eat Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, bro. Especially if you're in Georgia, man. That shit is gas. Favorite places to eat late night? Uh, man, to be real, in Georgia, nothing's open late night. You might as well go to QT and get you a little snack type type deal. Get you some, some chips and stuff like that if it's late night. You really just gotta find what's open. I'm not going to Waffle House either. You know what I mean? That's that ain't happening. The best you can do is just get on Uber Eats and find something that's gas or or, or something that's decent. Cause you know what I mean. Kagami also asked, "What are some of the things you enjoy about being an OTF gaming?" The community, man, y'all are goaded. Like y'all are so freaking solid. Like I swear, everyone who's really in the community and that's that's really supporting. Like y'all are y'all are solid, man. Real talk, y'all are y'all are dope. Like y'all really support. Y'all really hang out. Y'all really like push me on and I try to push y'all on. You know, everyone shows love to each other. I mean, y'all show more love to each other than y'all show to us. And that, that that makes me happy. No, no, no BS. I like that y'all are like so cool with each other and push each other on to like to, to get to where y'all want to be. You know what I'm saying? But it makes me happy when I see the community vibing with each other and then y'all pull up. Oh yeah, you know, Theo or this person or that person, shout out Theo. I'll be seeing y'all like pushing more, get like like pulling more numbers than me, which is like so dope to me. Like a real talk, I'm not jealous. I'm not even, I don't care about none of that. I admit it's so dope to me to see that y'all like really like, like boosting each other up to where y'all trying to get to. And that's just, yo. I'm happy for everybody who wins. Man, I like my team, man. I love my team, bro. Man, they so they're so they're so motivated. Like they're such hard workers, bro. Like there's such a vibe with my team, man. The chemistry is on point. Like like everyone is just family, man. Like real talk. We're so we're so diverse too. Like we have such a diverse team. You know, everyone has their strengths in in different areas and it all still works as like as a unit. You know what I mean? No one's weird. No one's when we go to do these big collabs, these big events, these big things with dirt, you know, AMP, phase, all these things, like no one no one makes it hard. And it's always smooth the way things work out, which is like the best, man. I love that everyone is just on the same page all the time man everyone you know what i'm saying it's just love it's real love man between my team like no bs every time every time we link up and then it's time to go home bro everybody be like no no funny no funny when it's time for everybody to go home after we like link up and have an event like everybody be sad <laughs> like real talk like and every time we about to link up again it's like it feel like christmas again every single time no bs what do I see myself doing in five years? Honestly, I want to spend another decade. Uh, well, five years. Sheesh, five years. I want to spend like another decade in gaming and YouTube content creation at the point by the end of that decade where I'm like, I'm a big dog. I'm, I'm putting everybody on. I'm like, I own companies. I own my own headquarters. Or I own my own team or own organization. I still 
bro, I'm a, it's OTF for life for me. Whether I was getting paid, whether I was getting put on, whether I was on the team or not, it's uh, like, this where I want to be. But in about five years, yeah, I still see myself like at my, my peak of, you know, my prime of in this, this content and gaming industry, hosting tournaments, hosting events, things like that, music as well. I just see myself at the peak of everything I want to do, you know, transitioning into the film industry uh, within five to 10 years. Next question is from Pablizi, my boy Pablo. Who was the best teammate you ever had when you were competing in Call of Duty? Um, all right, the best duo I ever had, best duo I ever had was my boy Mike. All right, my boy Mike, I don't even know what to call him by alias, but bro was a Leo. His birthday was the day before mine. I didn't even find out till like later, but it was just, the vibes was on point. Like we ain't never lose no matches together as a duo, you know what I'm saying? But he just, he wasn't able to keep going on this career path that I chose. You know, we kind of had to had to part ways as far as, you know, playing Call of Duty together and stuff like that, being, you know, grinding for my best teammate. I ain't gonna lie. You want to hear it, Pablo? Pablo, pa Pablo probably got to be my best teammate, like in Call of Duty, like competitive. Pablo got to be my best teammate because that man is dedicated. He's always dedicated. He always wanted to get better. He always like was on. A, he always had to like to push improvement. He always had to like point out the mistakes and and con and constructive criticism. He always, you know, he always made sure everything was right. Make sure we all could get to the event. Make sure we had our team passes. Make sure everybody flew in at a certain. You know, everybody was prompt. Everybody got on for practice. Yo, we're getting on at this time to scrim. We're doing this, that, the third. You know. He always showed up, you know, we all we all choked here and there on land before everyone's choked before in the, in their career in Call of Duty. But but Pablo always was consistent and showing up and doing what uh, doing his part. I would say that for real. Shout out to Pablo, man. And my boy Shiz asked, what's your favorite airsoft gun? My favorite airsoft gun is is the M4. You know, any M4 you get an airsoft, you're going to have. You're gonna be able to like borrow a mag from somebody. It's like the standard platform, especially when you mod it and then you, you know, work on stuff. You get a little HPA setup, start modifying the triggers and stuff like that. Um, that's definitely my favorite one. I like running pistols as well. Um, I like Glocks, Glock Airsoft. Uh, really, I don't have a, a specific, specific like favorite I go hard for. I'm just a fanatic, like I said. I like stuff that looks really close to the real thing, um, but they're, they're not always the best performing things when it comes to airsoft and playing cracked and competitive. I don't know. I kind of answered your question and then I just like contradict myself. I don't know, Shiz. I don't know. Maybe uh, I still got time. I got to figure that out. Next question from Says Spazin. My boy said, what's some advice you'd give to your younger self? Stop second guessing keep going commit trust your gut be yourself stop faking all of that stuff like I, i've done all of these things i faked things i've i've tried second guess myself i, I try to be who i wasn't i try i choked i i was nervous i you know um i i, I went so hard and like oh i can't fail i can't fail and that that forced me to fail you know, instead of trusting like what I know, what I've been doing, trusting my gut, being myself, like I would go back and tell myself, bro, be yourself. But at the same time, the things that happened in my life, the failures that I've that, that I've made, you know, the things that that I've choked, um, it shaped me into who I am. It shaped me into like going harder and, and becoming, you know, getting to the position I am. If I didn't fail, I probably wouldn't know how to handle the position I'm getting to and the position I'm in. But yeah, that's what, that's pretty much what I would tell my younger self. Um, but other than that, man, everything happens for a reason. Chris Payway asked, how did I join OTF Gaming? Twitter, my boy, Twitter. I saw Optic do a podcast with Lil Dirk and ASAP RIP, man, RIP ASAP. Um, and I saw on Twitter, like, I was like, damn, like, like Derek starting a gaming team. Um, that's cool. Uh, I was in a position where I didn't know what I was doing. I wanted to compete still in Call of Duty. Um, uh, I wanted an opportunity. I wanted somewhere where I would fit in, you know, uh, especially, um, in, in the black culture of things. Uh, I wanted to grow that side because, you know, at the time that I joined, I didn't see like that many black creators like that, black content creators or or, or gamers or streamers, com co 
Call of Duty players. They were, they were there, but it wasn't like it wasn't how it feels now, right? Like we all support each other. We all know what what the deal is, right? I wanted to get into something somewhere, somewhere where I fit in. So I went on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I hit up, um, I hit up ASAP, and um, basically shot my shot, man. And I sent in some some clips, some footage of me playing, things like that. Basically, my resume through the DMs, and you know, and then ASAP passed away um you know one day and uh things but things started to shift gaming industry started to shift covid happened you know a lot of things just started to change dirk was coming was growing into the artist he is today like like dirk went like this you know some people stop grinding some people keep grinding you know i almost had to grind again for my spot because what otf gaming is today is is not what it was it's a real company now you know it's a real it's a real thing. It's not just a little clan, you know, it's respect to everybody that, that helped, like that was there from the beginning, that was in the beginning, that came and went. Respect to everybody. Basically Zephyr came along, Crown came along um, and put their hands in and really built this, started shaping this into like something, something that like, I wake up every day, I'm so happy. Like I'm so happy and proud. Like, and people, people around me are proud. Real life people like are respecting what it is now today you know some people didn't even respect it you know years ago but i just bro i just kept working and grinding i kept making content every single like every year you know if you look back there's you know not a year where i haven't dropped any content you know i might have had some gap experience life and had some shaky times but i just kept dropping i kept playing the game i kept like working towards my goals uh, regardless of otf or not i always wanted to to you know hit my goals and become big in this like i really i had the passion for this more than anything you know it's the love for it not the destination i love the journey i i love the journey not the destination zephyr crown came along they they basically had to sit down with me i kept pushing for my spot i kept working for my spot we just kept moving forward that's what it is and and, and i'm happy i'm here today i really am happy for the opportunities it's just like i'm excited you know I, i'm becoming a better me you know especially with the team and the people around me man they really like i said like these these people are pushing me to be a better person like being a better me help for a name too ask me when will you stream again my boy tonight 10 p.m eastern the latest i'll be streaming again tonight Make sure you tap in. I stream like at least I stream like five days a week. No BS. Back on the Twitch grind. We got affiliate. Y'all, we are affiliate on Twitch now. We're grinding for partner. Man, I'm grinding every single social. I'm just trying to be the biggest, the hardest worker I could be. But that's gonna be the end of the QA. Hope y'all got some good information. Hope I inspired anybody. Hope I uh answered everyone's questions to the fullest. I tried my best. Cheers, y'all. I appreciate everyone. Everyone, let's get this money, man. Let's keep getting on the grind, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more bang content make sure you follow all my socials follow otf gaming socials thank y'all so much for watching i'll see you in the next video be easy